Welcome, welcome, my friends, to episode 7 of Apollo for Dummies. It is November 9th, 2018, at 2018 hours. For those of you that don't know what that means, it's 818 Central Standard Time PM. I want to thank those of you that have subscribed and commented and done all those cool things on all the platforms that we're on, to include iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, and YouTube. Remember, uh, since we're on the subject, I'll mention this. If you subscribe to YouTube and are following on Twitter, which is Apollo for Dummies, you are entered to win this limited edition Apollo coin. It's it's not a digital coin worth 14% of a penny. It is this $35 limited edition coin that you can hold in your hand. It's beautiful and I cannot wait to get my own. I ordered two because you can only order two per customer. But one of those will be given to one of you awesome, awesome subscribers on the YouTube. I appreciate your guys' support, especially for yesterday. I did not get an episode out because my son has been pretty sick. And I spent the day uh, cuddling him and watching cartoons. It's It was pretty rough, let me tell you. Also, uh, go ahead and enter the closed group of Apollo Currency on Facebook. All the links of all this stuff will be down below. Now, let's go ahead and get into the price. As mentioned, 14% of a penny is our current price, which is 4.76% up on the day. Let's go ahead and go over our area of operations. Um, Going to pretty much sum it down to this. Between 22 and 24 sat or satoshis in the red. Uh, they have added, they, I mean the uh, weak-hearted, non-huddling individuals have added 3.9 million coins to the sale walls. Not good. To counteract that, the good guys have added 2.6 million coins to purchase uh, between 21 and 19. So good news there. Keep on trying to get your coins as these weak holders. And when I say hold, that's, that's, a, that's a loose term. They're just currently holding on to these coins because they apparently don't want to hold on to them too long. Let's go ahead and go over some of the news under the Apollo Announcements channel on Telegram. This is where all the breaking news comes from, uh, if you did not already know that. We got a Colin Stone number 57 update. Uh, he basically goes over the roadmap a bit and hypes up the early 2019, which we have done here before. Also, a mission update, breaking news about IDAX is turning to IDAX.pro. It is a new domain, and that will happen soon. They're making changes within their website. I expect it to maybe look a little bit different, but I don't believe a lot will change. Uh, I did watch this video. Uh, I, I don't just make things up. Uh, I might be a dummy, but I'm not that dumb. I did watch this. Not a lot of news was within either of these uh, two YouTube videos. So check them out. Give them a watch. But I don't think you're missing much. And then down here, we have a happy birthday to Bitcoin. I think it turned 10. Yeah, it turned 10. 10 years old, so I wonder what it's going to be like when Apollo turns 10. I'm, I'm excited. I wish I could fast forward, but at the same time, that's 10 years. That's a long time, and I have a lot of fun years to have. So with that being said, let's go into uh, what we want to talk about today. We're going to talk about Paxo Standard. A lot of you might say, what in the heck is that? Well, I'm about to tell you. It is another digital asset, like a Bitcoin or a, an Apollo coin. Ripple tokens, whatever those people buy. I don't I don't know. I don't keep up with that. I am a Apollo not. Not an Apollo can't. That's a movie reference. Don't worry about it. So Paxo Standard is for our decentralized exchange that's coming up. It's a digital asset, as I mentioned. It's a stable coin. Essentially, that means that it holds a, uh, a direct value with the U.S. dollar, which is important for a decentralized exchange or any exchange. Uh, you want a stable coin. I guess you could call Bitcoin the stable coin of exchanges since it's the main thing used to trade for altcoins. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Paxo Standard is essentially a digital asset integrated um, with fiat for our decentralized exchange. So no decentralized exchange has, from what I understand, incorporated fiat coin thus far. You can X for fiat to and from your wallet with this. 
and Paxos Standard is the first crypto of its kind, undergoing regulations by the New York State Department uh, Financial Services. What does this mean? It means it's more secure for us dummies. It's more secure. It's uh, monthly audits make it a safe option. Okay. Um, and for those of you that don't like exchanges, don't like what you're looking at on the YouTube screen right now, don't worry. You can use the decentralized exchange and you can get your Apollo coins through there. And I have a feeling it's going to be really nice because currently we have to go to Coinbase to purchase our Bitcoins. Then we have to transfer our Bitcoins to IDAX, which takes time. And then we have to transfer our Bitcoin on IDAX to Apollo coin. See, it's just, it's just a mess. This is why people don't get into crypto coins is because it's so freaking difficult to get what you want. Before I got into Apollo, I, I tried researching some stuff and it just, it drove me mad. And that's why the volume isn't there right now. I'm talking crypto space wide, I'm not talking about just Apollo. We need more people to come into the crypto space, as you can all agree because volume is important, but because it's so hard, you get the gist. This decentralized exchange, I think is gonna be really great. I think it's gonna be really easy for us to get our coins. For those of you that buy coins once a week, once a month, uh, when you, whenever you get paid, you like to add, this is your, I mean, this is your retirement. This is my retirement. I tell you right that right now, it's my kids' retirement. So it's gonna be nice to have the ability to easily purchase coins trade coins with our decentralized exchange. If you guys have any questions about Paxos Standard, the decentralized exchange, go ahead and put them in the comments down below and I will be glad to answer those questions for you. If I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. I do, see, it does not what you know, my friends, it's who you know. And luckily you know me and I know other people. And uh, I look forward to, to helping you guys anytime you need help. I know, I must know what I'm doing because, and for those of you that don't know this, Myself and my investment group were in, you know, a direct reason for this big old green candle right here. And then this one right here. No, okay, Apollo was, you know, obviously they're creating great stuff. You know, the, the coin and, and all the news, that's all great. But I have the ability to bring people together and to get and push this price up and get these coins. So... I know when things are too low, like right here, these, this price was way too low. It was ridiculously low. Uh, it was 13 sat all the way down. Yeah, all the way down to 13 sat, which is Satoshi's, by the way, just in case you didn't catch that earlier. So yeah, I'm really excited about the decentralized exchange. I think it's going to be really easy to get other people excited about Apollo. I can go to a friend, a family member, uh, a neighbor and say, have you heard of this? Oh, is that like the Bitcoin thing? Yeah, it's kind of like that, but look at how easy this is. Boom, boom, boom. Purchase your Apollo coins. Ask questions later. <laughs> uh, I'm also looking, at, and let me know what you guys think of this. I'm looking at doing a series, uh, maybe a five-part series of kind of like a side podcast about, uh, you know, bringing people that literally know nothing about crypto coins. Um, everybody that's here on this podcast knows a little bit something about what we're doing here. But I kind of want to also create, you know, it's going to be on the same channel, but I want to create another avenue for you guys to give to those friends of yours or those family members of yours that literally have no idea what crypto coins are. Most people have heard about Bitcoins, so that's where we all fall back to. But I have ideas here. I think we're going to, I think we're going to get a lot more people on board because uh, we need the help. We need the volume, people. You're going to hear me say it a lot. We need the volume. So uh, I've rambled enough here. We've gone over the lack of news. Hopefully some big Hermes news will come soon. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not supposed to say um so much, so I'm trying to work on that. But we'll see how long it takes until I fully remove um from my dictionary of greatness. As far as the price goes, I would go ahead and say if you're looking at getting coins right now and you are in a hurry, go ahead and get on board on that 22 sat right here. Just under 2 million coins for sale there. And if you can wait 7 million coins from now, then throw it on the 21 green wall right there. For those of you not on YouTube, just, uh, 
just just get on board and 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 buy whenever and wherever you can. Uh, I have a feeling that not too far from now we're going to be looking at this price and really regret not you know putting all of our extra money towards it. So thanks for being here on episode seven and thanks for the uh, let's see there we go uh, and um thank you for understanding with the lack of an episode yesterday. We'll see you tomorrow with episode number eight. We're well on our way. We're almost to 10, people. Good luck in getting your coins, and I will see you on the flip side. Enjoy this tune. Let's see.